Is this the best economy ever? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. So, right here to my left, this is a bit of a surprise coin, but it is a coin that I have featured in my past. And the reason why I'm going to feature it uh, this evening is because <clears throat> it is massively popular. I have family members ask about this coin. I have friends constantly ask me about this coin. People are just always asking me about this coin. And recently I was going to sell it, but the premiums have gone up tremendously. So I backed out on selling it recently um, because I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. I would have to sell it at a much higher price. Um, that way I can buy more of them. But they are getting that expensive in comparison to when I originally got it five, six years ago. I mean, the price has gone up drastically. So, yes, you see it right here. See so the year 2016? <clears throat> From the Royal Canadian Mint, this incredible special edition Superman piece features one of the most iconic symbols of all time, the S shield of Superman. With a limited mintage of 1 million coins, this release, as I said, is always in high demand. Notice how this piece features a Boolean finish with brilliant frosted relief on a line background. The averse shows Susanna Blunt's design of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. We go back to the reverse, and we find the iconic Superman S-Shield brilliantly uh, adorned. Security features such as the precision radial line pattern and the micro-engraved uh, textured maple leaf all combine to offer peace of mind to the secure purchaser. So these are incredibly hard to counterfeit. And that's what I love about this coin. Not only is it just spectacular, spectacular to look at, look out, spectac spectacular to own, it's a coin that is secured. You know, this is like the real deal. And, <clears throat> you know, recently one of my subscribers, uh, Veritas Files, which I love him, I'm always shouting them out. They're bringing up how some of these coins, you know, marble coins, uh, these, these really, really nice pieces, um, they might not be worth as much in a time of crisis. And that is absolutely true. Of course, they would not be worth as much as in a time of crisis. But I do think it's smart to have these because it's like, okay, maybe the crisis doesn't happen. By miracle, the crisis does not take place. I mean, we all pray it doesn't take place. We don't want it to take place. These are going to go up tremendously in value, you know. So you have to look at it both ways. And that's the only reason why I would say, yes, I would have uh, special coins like this. Real quick, guys, before we continue, I do want to give a quick shout out, and this is to one of my newest subscribers, SoloFan87, and this is a comment from earlier today. Just started stacking silver. Every payday, I always get a one ounce silver buffalo. However, got my first silver Canadian maple leaf. I made a rule for every four one ounce silver buffaloes I stack, I will purchase either one maple leaf or one American silver eagle. Also, to add, uh, been studying how to invest and reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad, as well as following John Tafer's model of embracing solutions, not excuses. However, thanks for this, this pep talk. Man, awesome comment, SoloFan87. And yes, that is super smart what you're doing. You're kind of playing it how I did. Um, you're getting already silver every, every month. And yeah, play it the way you're doing it. Stick to those buffaloes. They're very, very inexpensive, and it's silver at the end of the day. And choose Maple Leaf, American Eagle, and I would suggest Britannia. Um, get those Britannias. They're incredible. Um, folks, something incredible um, happened yesterday, and this is, this is as good as it is bad, and it has not been sitting well with me. The Dow Jones already hit the highest point in world history, 40,000. This is history for the stock market and also your 401k. You would think this is the greatest, bestest economy ever. But then you notice that China, central banks, and all the stocks experts like Michael Burry are doing all the same thing at the same time. 
China just sold $53.3 billion worth of U.S. treasuries and purchased a boatload of gold and silver bars. Michael Burry is betting heavily on gold and silver, all while central banks continue to stack precious metals as well. What's happening right now is not random. It's by design. We are nowhere near a Fed rate cut cycle. For the last 18 months, they have repeated time and time again that rate cuts are coming, when in fact rate cuts... They're not coming and rates only continue to increase. Whatever they're telling us, it's the opposite that's taking place. There is a trade war happening in real time with China and America. That's why tariffs have been put in place and will inevitably affect the entire globe. Worldwide tensions and erosion of purchasing power of the dollar is what's causing so many elites to buy up farmland and precious metals while they still can. As rates get more stubborn, inflation gets worse, and what we're walking into is clearly stagflation. More and more job layoffs will occur as the cost of living becomes unbearable. So much worse than what we have now. And more and more businesses are going to automate their systems as much as possible outsourcing jobs. Position yourself accordingly because precious metals are going to continue to do well. Stick with the safe haven assets. Don't sit on your devaluing cash. Invest. Over half of Americans say their salary isn't enough to cover the cost of living anymore. 95% of people are about to get rug, rug pulled in the biggest way because America as a whole is already tapped out. Right here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little bit congested. I had been showing um, my gold version of this piece and, and I will never get rid of it unless I absolutely have to. But these Philharmonics, which I feel they get a lot of hate. This is the reality, guys. These are exquisite pieces. And Austrian silver, Vienna Philharmonic, uh, Philharmonic coins celebrate one of Austria's most cherished cultural assets, the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra, a classic ensemble that is widely regarded as one of the best orchestras in the world. Silver Philharmonics are struck with exceptional uh, attention to detail. Over 40 million Silver Philharmonics have sold in just the last three years. Philharmonics pay homage to Austria's rich history of musical excellence and uh, its invaluable contributions to the Western uh, classical um, corpus. So right now, um, let me go back to the reverse. You go to the reverse and we see a harmonious uh, assortment of musical instruments, including a string uh, uh, bass, cellos, uh, vi violins, a bassoon, a harp, uh, a, a horn. Uh, the coins uh, of verse bears an image of the great organ in the home of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra. In its 800-year history, the Austrian mint has kept its centuries-long tradition of craftsmanship and its state-of-the-art technological capabilities, truly making the Austrian mint one of the most highly regarded uh, manufacturers of silver bullion coins. So do not disregard them. Don't hate on them. I mean, this is just, this is great silver. I assure you, you can get it for phenomenal prices with free shipping. Uh, folks, just to end this evening, I want to give a final shout out. And this is actually from a comment made uh, last night, but this is Dan Cooper 4404. Dan Cooper 404. I give my stepson an ounce of silver every birthday and Christmas. He recently turned 21, so I just had to find him a 2003 Silver Eagle. For his college graduation next year, I'm hoping to gift him his first gold. He's a good young man, a hard worker, a devoted son to his mother, and I'm very proud of him. He has a good head on his shoulders and knows the value of precious metals and other preps. Wow, phenomenal, Dan Cooper, 404. You know, you're talking about your stepson, brother, but you are treating him like he is your own, and man, that is just beautiful to me. Uh, you're raising you're raising a man, and that's very difficult to do, especially in today's world. And you're doing it. Keep doing it. Bravo to you, Dan. Um, so you're telling me that you had given him a silver eagle from 2003. So I imagine that's the year he was born. Yes, this was the year he was born. Um, and now you're telling me you're going to give him a gold 
going. So man, it's the money stacks up heavily right there. But you're telling me he's a hard worker. He's a good young man. He's devoted to his mama. And you're very proud of him. And that's so beautiful to say. So thank you for sharing that with us. And you're doing the smartest thing because I'm going to give my son silver. I'm going to give my kids silver, you know, but they're going to work for it. The way they're going to work for everything else and the way I worked for it. And the way we need to be working for who we make ourselves. So folks, thank you so much for joining us for another evening of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, God bless you. God bless your household. God bless America.